Greetings everyone, in this video I'll show you how to use Royal Addons Theme Builder alongside with Elementor to create a complete WooCommerce website, including shop and single product pages, cart and checkout pages, and everything else that's required to build a fully functional online shop. Here I have a demo site just to give you an idea of what's possible by using Royal Addons WooCommerce Theme Builder. Royal Addons comes with all the necessary widgets that you can simply drag and drop onto your pages, like products grid, categories list like this one here. You can display customer's cart and all kinds of filters, and of course product information like price and sale, its description, some additional info, product reviews and many more. Alright, it's time to start building our WooCommerce site and to do so we need to go to the WordPress dashboard and in Royal Addons click on Theme Builder. In this case Product Archive and Product Single are what we need. But before we go there, let me quickly remind you that to use this functionality you need to have WooCommerce official plugin already installed and activated. Otherwise those two options, Product and Product Single, won't be available. And if we go to Royal Addons Plugins main page, scroll down a bit, here you can see WooCommerce Builder widgets are all activated, but without WooCommerce Plugin they will be disabled, so keep that in mind. Other than that, Elementor and Royal Elementor Addons are all that's required for this tutorial, and as you can see I'm using all three versions, but in the second part of this video I'll show you some features that come with Pro version of Royal Addons. I'm also using Royal Elementor Kit as my WordPress theme, since it is optimized for Elementor, but you can use any other Elementor compatible theme. I have already created some demo products, and when I installed and activated WooCommerce plugin, it has automatically set it up all the necessary pages for online shop, including shop, cart and checkout pages. This is how our site looks like right now, and if you are interested how I created this nice and simple header, you can go to Royal Addons, Theme Builder, and here you will find header and footer tabs. And if you want to learn how to use Theme Builder, click on this link to watch a comprehensive tutorial. So right now our shop page does not look very nice. And to change it, let's go to Royal Addons, Theme Builder, and in Product Archive, click on Create Template. Let's give it a name, Shop Page, for example. And in conditions, we need to choose where will be this template used on our site. For us, it is Product Archive, which is also a shop page. And as you can see in Pro version, we can also create templates for product categories and tags. Select Products Archive and save conditions. From here, we will be redirected to Elementor Editor. On the left side, you can see royal widgets that we can use for this template. But for now, let's go for WooCommerce Grid drag and drop it onto the canvas. It's already displaying some products, but remember that for Products Archive we have to select Current Query in Query Products option. This way it will always display the relevant content. This widget has many settings that you can go through, change the elements that are displayed or change its styles. But for now let's just update the template. Go to the site, refresh it, and now our shop page looks exactly as we designed it in Elementor Editor. Let's do the same for Single Product Template. Go back to the dashboard and in Theme Builder, click on Product Singles tab. Again, create template, give it a name, Single Product this time, add condition, but in this case there's only one option to choose, save conditions and finally go to the Elementor Editor. Let me quickly create two column layout. And again, on the left side we have all the widgets that are related to WooCommerce products. Let me adjust the column width and let's start with Product Media widget. This widget displays Product Gallery with a nice slider function. Go back to the widgets and this time let's add Product Title which while well, simply displays the title of the product. Next is Product Rating, that displays stars based on user reviews. Before we continue adding some more widgets, I want to show you a handy feature that could be very helpful in many cases. In the bottom left corner, there's a Settings icon, 
Let's click on it and from here we can choose which product we want to be displayed while we are editing our template. Let me choose this one and click apply. Now we can continue working with the product of our choice. For our next widget, let's add product price, followed by some product meta information, which includes things like SKU, categories, and tags. Next widget is probably the most important one, and of course, it is Add to Cart button, where customers can also choose the quantity of the product. Now, I'm gonna add another section in Elementor because when someone clicks on Add to Cart, we want some notice to be displayed so that customer knows that the product was added to the cart. In our widgets list, let's find product notice, and that's the message our customers will see when product is added to their cart. If you want to show product stock availability, we have you covered. Just add product stock widget wherever you want. We can also add product excerpt, which is this product short description, which we can add from WooCommerce Editor, as well as product additional information, which displays the attributes that we can also add from WooCommerce Editor. Product tabs is another way of displaying some information, which could be some product info or user reviews. It displays things within tabs and saves some space. Another useful widget is post navigation, which will make it easier for users to go from one product to another without the need to leave the current page. One last and also very important widget that I want to show you is sales page, which displays the sale price if applied to the product. I'm going to add it below the price, but as you can see, it shows nothing right now, probably because there is no sale for this particular product. So let's go to the settings again, choose another product, click on apply, and now we can see the sales page as well as updated price. I think our single product template looks quite good right now. There are a few more widgets, but they are only available in pro version, and I'm going to discuss them later. But for now, let's click on update, go back to the site, click on one of the products, and of course, our single product template looks exactly as we designed it in Elementor. Royal Addons Theme Builder also lets us create cart and checkout pages. So let's go to site, and that's how our cart page looks right now. This is our checkout page. And to edit those pages, let's go back to the dashboard and click on Edit. Now, this is the first time I'm editing this page. So it opens in WordPress native block editor. So we have to click on edit with Elementor. I'm gonna delete the already existing shortcode and create a new section where I will add cart widget. I also want to get rid of page title. So in settings, in page layout, let's choose Elementor canvas. Update the page. Go back to the site refresh it, and I think we will all agree that it looks much better. And of course, we can always customize it from Elementor Editor. Let's quickly do the same for checkout page. Go back to the dashboard and click on Edit. Again, we need to edit it with Elementor. In Settings, choose Elementor Canvas. Delete this short code and add the widget called Checkout. I think it looks much better. Update the page, go to the site, and refresh it. Wonderful. Many of you have probably already noticed that in our header, we have this shopping cart that displays the amount of product added to the cart, and if clicked, it will redirect user to the cart page. Let's quickly see how to add this widget to the header. So let's go back to the theme builder. And in headers section, click on edit template. This is a column where I want the cart to be displayed. So let's click on it and search for product mini cart. Drag and drop it into the column. Update the editor. 
And that's it. And of course you can add the minicart widget to any other part of your site. Alright, in the second part of this video I want to show you some great features that come with Pro version of Royal Addons. As you can see I have already installed and activated the premium plugin. And also I have imported a demo template from the Royal Addons template kit. And if you are interested you can find them right here in templates kit section. First premium feature I want to show you is my accounts page. So let's go to the My Account and click on Edit with Elementor. Here the demo template has already added a widget called My Account. We can click on Edit, Update Changes to Preview, and we can see that it shows everything that's related with WooCommerce My Account. And on the left we have many settings to customize its look including layout and its styles of course. Product filters is another great feature that comes with Pro. As you can see there are many different types of filters including search, price range, filter by rating, categories and many more. Let's quickly check the filter widget in Elementor Editor by clicking on Edit with Elementor. The widget itself is called Product Filters and when you add it to your page you can choose the filter type and then edit its settings based on which filter you're using. If you want to add the list of stylized categories on your page, right here in my case, search for the widget called Wool Category Grid. Drag it wherever you want and by default it will display all the WooCommerce product categories. There are a few settings that we can edit, for example we can hide child categories and of course there's always an option to change its styles. Upselling and cross-selling are very important aspects of modern online shops. For example, on our single products page we can add WooCommerce product grid widget and in query products choose the upsell option, which will display the product similar to the one we are editing right now. Let's display three products per page. And this method can drastically improve your sales. We can do the same for cart page like it is displayed here. But in this case we can as well choose cross-sell option instead of upsell. Of course it all depends on your intentions. Proversion also lets you control the number of the products displayed on the shop page from the general settings. And to do so we need to go to the plugins main page, click on settings tab, and from here we can change the number of the products displayed on shop page, as well as category and tag pages. Another great premium feature is the ability to create a custom templates for the product categories and tags. Let's go to the Royal Addons, Theme Builder, and in Products Archive we can either create a new template or edit the existing one. And when choosing the condition, we are not limited to products archive anymore. We can as well choose categories or tags. After that we can edit our templates that will be displayed for products categories or tags based on our choice. Premium version also comes with an additional template kit that we can import with one click. And in just a few minutes we'll have the fully functional WooCommerce shop. In the first part of the video I have already shown to you how to add the minicart widget to the header. But in Pro version minicart has some additional features. In a non-Pro version if we click on minicart it simply takes us to the cart page. But in premium version there are two other options like this drop down minicart here as well as slide in minicart with a cool little slide effect. And also when we click on the add to cart it shows at the bottom corner of the screen that the product has added. If you're wondering how to change these options, go to the Minicart widget and in Settings, in Cart Content we can choose either None, Drop Down or Sidebar. The last premium feature I would like to show you is the Breadcrumb Navigation widget, which will make navigation through the site much easier for your users resulting in better user experience. I'm gonna search for product breadcrumbs and add it to the top of my single product template. 
I hope this video tutorial was helpful for you. Keep in mind that new features are coming to the Royal Addons, including for WooCommerce Builder. If you have any questions, please go to royalelementoradons.com, where you can get help from our support team, download the plugin or upgrade to Pro. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe the channel, because many more tutorials like this are coming. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon in the next one.